Does an autistic child behave in such an extreme way that sometimes you wonder if they should be on medication? Maybe they are a danger to themselves or others? Today, we'll be talking about the most controversial topic in the special needs community. One of those issues that not everyone shares the same opinion about. So please keep watching if you are caught between a rock and a hard place. Welcome to my channel, this is Maria Bort. I'm an author, motivational speaker, and busy mom of three fantastic autistic children. And this channel is all about sharing with you tips and strategies that can empower you as a parent so you can help your child reach their full potential. And sometimes people might argue that the use of medication can help them achieve their full potential, while others believe that autistic children are being overly medicated, even for mild symptoms of aggression or hyperactivity. I think the most important point to start with is that most parents don't ever want to medicate their child. I want to believe that most of them will consider the medication route when they're unable to cope anymore because the child is in danger in their own life or the life of others. If you're considering medication for your child, there are a few questions you should ask yourself first before heading to the doctor. What is it that I'm trying to accomplish? Am I trying to suppress a particular negative behavior? Have I tried all the alternatives to medication? Is my child a danger to themselves or others? Have I exhausted all forms of therapy to help address my child's issues? As I have shared in many of my other videos, your child may exhibit aggressive behavior because they are being bullied, abused, being kept isolated for too long, or having sensory issues because they're being put in loud or crowded environments. It may even make it worse. Many times we were told to give our children black box medications in order to keep them calm. But when we researched the side effects and possible long-term effects, we refused. Instead, we did a lot of research from professionals while applying at-home therapy for many years until we make breakthroughs that no drug will do. A lot of this I share right here on my Autism Tips channel just for you. Now, if you think there is something more to your child's behavior that is beyond autism or what I mentioned, then ask yourself, will I research truly the medication that is prescribed for my son or daughter to ensure the side effects do not become an even bigger issue? So as you can see, there is a lot to think about when you are considering medication. And of course, parents' experiences are unique, so it's not one fit all kind of a scenario. For some, a particular medication really helped their child, while others said it made things worse. So depending on your child's unique challenges, medication should be perhaps one of the last things you should consider and for extreme circumstances. The side effects of a lot of these drugs can be very damaging to the brain, so it is something you need to decide with time while taking everything into consideration. The most important thing to remember is to do what is best for your child and family. People might judge your choices, but at the end of the day, they don't have to live your life and they are not the parent of your child. If you choose the medication route, remember that it's not the answer for all. It is not a cure for autism because autism is not a disease. There are alternatives to medication such as behavioral therapy and other forms of intervention that can help address issues such as hyperactivity, aggression, or self-injury. One thing to keep in mind if you're planning to go the medication route is that each person responds differently to it. So you need to monitor your child closely. When my kids were younger, there were many issues dealing mostly with hyperactivity and serious meltdowns. But one of the things we have been always cautious and concerned about medication is that sometimes there is not enough evidence with regards to the overall impact these drugs will have in our children's brains in the future as they grow up. But again, every situation is unique and no one should make that decision for you or make you feel bad for doing what you think is best for your child and family. If you do not wish to use medication and you are feeling beyond overwhelmed, make sure to seek qualified respite care services that can provide you with time to relax outside your home and do something that can help you recharge your batteries. This is particularly useful if you are a single mom or dad and you are the only caregiver for your child. Whatever you decide, make sure it is something you will be comfortable with so you are not constantly feeling guilty for whatever choice you end up taking. 
we are all trying our very best so you should be kind to yourself knowing you are doing everything possible to help your son or daughter address whatever issues they are experiencing thank you so much for watching i have all the videos with tips for you to watch so make sure to check out my channel and subscribe